Now one last item I want to show you before we uh, depart for the day, and that is this box that you see here. This is where the heading goes. Okay. Now if I right click on that topic and go to the properties view, okay, here is the heading technical support. Okay. And in my print help and web tabs in a topic object, I also have a heading field. Now the heading in my print help and web tabs can be different from my description. All right. Let's say that I'm using prefixes as a way to even further organize or sort my objects in my folder list. And I wouldn't necessarily want that description to appear in my heading tabs. All right, so let's go ahead and click apply here. All right, notice how it's now updated my view uh, inside of my book editor. All right, now let's say I change my mind. I do want this description to also be my heading. Well, a very easy way to do that click this little synchronize button right here. If I hit synchronize, now go to my print help and web tab. I've now synchronized all those headings, okay? It's a very quick and easy way to synchronize your description with your other heading fields, okay? And again, this is in the properties view. Now, if I go back to my view, my book editor view, all right, notice how there's a little asterisk here. This little asterisk is telling you that all of your headings and your descriptions are synchronized with one another. All right, they all have the same entries. But as soon as I start changing things, okay, notice how it's going to automatically make those changes inside of all of my tabs. And maybe I don't want that, all right? Maybe I want something different in my print tab versus my other tabs. So what you do, hit this arrow here, and notice how you have these different icons, all right? The printer pertains to your print tab. Here's your help tab. Here's your web tab, all right? So let's say I want to just change the heading in my print tab. I'll select that heading. Notice how the icon changes over here, and I can put in something different, okay? Now at this point, my headings are no longer synchronized, all right? The other ones will say technical support, and now I'm presented with a couple synchronized options. Do you want to synchronize all the headings for your print help and web tab? Do you want to synchronize all headings and description as well, all right? So if we wanted all of the tabs to have the exact same description and heading, we'll go ahead and select this one. Now we're back to our asterisk, which means everything is synchronized. And now when I hit my down arrow, they all look the same. Okay. So you can do this sort of task from this view, from the editor view, you can also do it from the properties view. So we'll right click, select properties, okay? So what you have in the description does not have to match what you have in your heading tabs for your output tabs. It's completely up to you. Um, but just keep in mind uh, these synchronization options that are available in here and also when you start to make changes from this view as well. Okay. All right.